Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to be looking for armor plans, specifically armor plans that spawn in the open world. Now for some armors like leather or combat, you can actually find those plans from NPC vendors. There's no RNG attached to them at all. They're just always there. For other armor types like trapper, metal, marine, robot, uh, there's a little bit of RNG, a little bit of randomness attached to those plans. And one of the ways you can find them is to go to uh, locations that have armor plan spawns and find them there. And these can spawn all over the map. Now, depending on the region, uh, will also depend on what types of armor plan you can get. Uh, so I'm actually going to show you locations in all, what, six regions of the map, the forest, the toxic valley, the ash heap, the savage divide, the cranberry bog, and the mire. And I will have those broken down that we're gonna do those one region at a time. And there will be timestamps on the bottom of the video if you wanna just skip to a particular region. So the first location is West Virginia Lumber, which if you don't know, that's up in the uh, northwest corner of the map in the forest region. And this is the spawn point. So just from the spawn point, it's, uh, yeah, just right inside the front door. So it's just this first building and you'll know you're in the right, right building because it'll have the power armor stations, but you actually wanna go onto the other side and it's, oh, I actually found a plan here. See, that's that's the thing about the random spawns. There may not actually be anything here, but we actually lucked out and there is a plan, light metal arms. And that is something I've known about the, uh, or I've noticed about the forest is it seems to only spawn in terms of the armor pieces, uh, plans for the metal. And the locations I'm showing you, they can have uh, armor plans, they can have armor mod plans, and sometimes you can even find uh, plans for under armor. All right, the next location is Grove's family cabin. And this is the spawn point. And basically from the spawn point, you want to just go straight ahead. Now this place is typically full of scorched. Uh, although it is possible if you're on a public server that uh, you may find them dead, killed by another player. Uh, but that won't be the case here. I am on a private server today. Okay, so after you've killed all the scorched, unless you are super sneaky, you go right in here and wow, I'm getting lucky today. Um, typically you don't find them in all the spots, but this looks like this is a spawn for armor an armor mod. So we got a plan for the pocketed Raider armor chest, but it's right here in the uh, the building with all the beds. Well, I think the other one has beds too. But yeah, there's one building. This is the other one. It's right inside the refrigerator on that bottom shelf there. All right, Wixen Homestead is the uh, next stop and we're right by Gilman Lumber. Uh, it's a fairly high traffic area. So uh, so it's not in the main, so there's the main house. We're looking for this, is this barn over here. And it would be on Let's see, we go in through this door right here. It would actually be right here next to this oil can on the same shelf. Uh, there isn't one there, but what I'm going to do is I'll show you a screenshot. I actually did verify all the locations I'm going to show you today. So you should see on the screen now a screenshot that actually shows exactly where the plan would be and what it looks like. The next spot we've got is Flatwoods. Now I'm not going to show you from the spawn point. Rather, I'll just show you from an easy to find location. This is the tavern. This is where you register to uh, to do the responders quest. And it's just right across the street, marked by supplies. And there are actually two spots here. And yeah, we didn't find either one. So right here on the bottom shelf uh, is one spawn point. This will be, uh, I think this is where the plan, this is actually can be a, a armor plan. And then the other one is right here, um, not inside there, but right on top of this table. And I think that'll be an armor mod plan. All right, the next location is the giant teapot. So here we are at the spawn point. And for this, we just want to run down the hill towards the, uh, I was going to say house, but it says gift shop. So we'll call it a gift shop. And you want to go around here to the barbecue grill. And again, we struck out. We got lucky with the first couple stops. But yeah, there is a plan. It would be sitting right here on the barbecue grill. All right. So the next one is actually an unmarked location. So you want to fast travel to AVR Medical Center, which is where we are. And so this is the spawn point. So from the from the spawn point, we're going to run over here towards the uh, the buildings over here. Uh, run past the road. We're over there with that canopy. Now well, past the canopy. I guess that's a bus stop. This one right here. The green. The green. Is that the one? No. It's going to be marked as... Oh, okay. So we have books right here. Uh, and these two buildings actually connect on the interior. But the beauty salon is what you want. You go inside the beauty salon. And you go right around here. And here's the cash register. That's how you know it. The cash register. And it's actually going to be right here. Yeah, right here on this shelf, this bottom shelf right here is where it would be. The next one we've got is another unmarked location. So the way to get to this is uh, Charleston Fire Department, fast travel there. 
And this is from the fast travel point. We want to just go down the hill a bit. And just go, yeah, it's pretty much a straight shot. And I always, uh, I always steer in the wrong direction a little bit. But I think I've done this enough times. I think we're going straight ahead to that building right, uh... Let's see, there'll be a couple of ghouls. Dispatch the ghouls. And go right to this building right here. Yeah, this one with the, uh... The white brick. We want to go in the front door. Oh, there's a... Yeah, this place will have ghouls in it. So, from the front door, we just go immediately to the left and go up the stairs. And inside this first bedroom door, and there will be a ghoul on the floor. And what we want is actually right here on this chair. It'll be just to the left of the fancy hairbrush. So, again, yeah, we're so far. I mean, we start off really lucky, but so far we're not finding the plans, which is kind of how it goes more often than not, especially on a private server. The spawn rates are, are lower. Okay, and this will be the last location for the forest, and that is the Overlook Cabin. So we've got the fast travel, sp uh, fast travel spot, and this place is another one that's full of scorched. Very often the case with the, uh, with the forest, but uh, often, if you're kind of sneaky, you can typically go through this without having to do a whole lot of fighting if you want, depending on what you want to do. And you want to go around the corner here until you find the stairs. And there'll be a couple of scorched here in the basement. Easier to shoot them than just, uh... And you want to go in this room right here. And, oh, look at that. We got lucky. So you'll know it because you you have the armor bench. And to the left of the armor bench, we have a table. And we found another plan, a light metal torso. So now we are in the Toxic Valley. And location number one will be Grafton Steel. And this is the fast travel point. We are just on the road just to the east of Grafton Steel. So we want to just follow the road around. Uh, because we're actually going to go, I mean, you don't have to do it this way. You can go through the middle of Graft and Steel, but this way involves less super mutants. Typically when you're uh, armor plan hunting or any kind of plan hunting or outfit hunting, you're not really looking to do a lot of combat. You're looking to do things as quickly as possible. So we're just going to come around and you'll look for the big, I don't know what that is, if that's a water tower or whatever. And we're going into this last building. You can see where the wall has crumbled into this opening. And we're going to sneak down. Hopefully, oh, we're just in caution. So that's good. And we are going to be, it would be right here on this, uh, yeah, on this shelf right here. It's right next to the armor bench. And it would be this shelf. Uh, there would be an armor plan. Or this might actually be an armor mod plan. That's, that's what I found here. So I do have a picture. And it should be up on the screen now showing you exactly what it would look like if it was spawned in. The next location is the Pioneer Scout Lookout. Now, I am sort of at the fast travel spot. I may have moved a little bit because I lost track of where I was. But you basically just want to turn right here and go down the hill. And we are looking for this pickup truck right here. And it would actually spawn right on this crate is where the, where the spawn would be. And again, there's a picture on the screen to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so the next location is Clarksburg. Uh, but we're actually going to fast travel to the Clarksburg Shooting Club. It's the closest way to, to get there. So from the fast travel point, there's the uh, shooting range. We are actually going right up there, that door. There's going to be a couple of robots in there. Usually, anyway, there's usually a couple of robots. And depending on what you've got, if you've got a jetpack, you can get up there really easily. I don't have one, so we are going to use this uh, ladder right here. Oh, there's a robot. And we just go right here around the corner, and we are going up one flight of stairs. Be careful, though, because if you do get a... We just say, okay, there's a gutsy. Yeah, those, uh, you get one with the fire damage. Anyway, so come in here, and it would be right on this shelf right here. And we don't have anything, so I will show you a picture. All right, the last spot in the Toxic Valley is Knife Edge. Uh, this is not my favorite place, just because there are usually three rad scorpions that spawn here. They're kind of a hassle. But we are going straight ahead where everything is lit up. All right, rad scorpions are dealt with, so you just approach this place until you find... The Tinker's Bench, that is what you're looking for, and it's actually this table right here. So there's a recipe spawn, and an armor spawn would be right, or an armor plan spawn would be right next to it. And again, I'm showing you a picture. So the first location in the Ash Heap is Camden Park. So from the spawn point, we want to just run in and go, our target area is underneath the roller coaster. You know, that big thing right ahead. Got more can chimes right here, and here's some more Scorched. Okay, so once you've uh, dispatched all the Scorch, continue around. See the big old, I don't know if that's a watchtower or whatever. I don't know how useful it would be in the middle of the park. But we want to go straight back. Here's the little trap. We want to go over the, uh, 
or around the sandbags. And what we're looking for is, yep, I very, this is a, this is one of those spaces I had a really hard time finding, but there are a couple of spawn points. One is right here. This is actually uh, typically an armor mod plan right here next to the ashtray. And this will be an armor piece plan and it'll spawn right here on the, uh, whatever this, this diagnostic equipment that we've got here. But either way, I'll show you pictures for both. So I just now realized that there's two fast travels to the Charleston Fire Department, but this one we're actually going to go inside. So from the fast travel point, we want to head towards the uh, fountain over here and going through this door, the one that has the uh, overseer's cache right inside. Overseer's cache right there. And we want to go to the right, open the door, and go to the right again. And we are headed for the security door, the one that's locked. And you can either open that with the terminal or with a lock pick. I've got Master Infiltrator, and it would actually spawn right here on this shelf. And this would actually be an armor, an armor piece plan. The next location will be Widow's Perch. So from the fast travel spot, we're just going to go downhill. There are Blood Eagles here. There's usually, I think, four of them. One right here, one all the way over there by the sign, and then a couple inside right here. Uh, once you've dealt with the Blood Eagles, we just go in, in here, right? There's the, uh, here's the stairs that go down. We don't want to do that. There is an armor bench. We are actually going on the other side by this brewing station. And the plan would actually be right here on this shelf, right where this uh, wrench is. It would be right here. Uh, again, showing you a picture. Okay, the next location we are going to is Welch. And I actually fast travel to Welch Station just because it's a little easier. Uh, and if we just go down the hill, and there are a lot of mole miners here. You can try and stealth it or you can fight all of them depending on what you feel like doing. I'm going to stealth it. And there's actually, so there's actually an armor, I mean, a weapon mod pl uh, plan here as well, which I'll show you the location. Oh, and it's actually glitched through. So this is not part of the armors, but this is a single action revolver. You can get many things here. I've seen other things, but yeah, glitch is halfway through for some reason. But this is, a, and you'll know it because it'll say electrical, a weapon bench. So right there. And if you just kind of go over the, uh, hop over this little fence here. And a way to know where you are is that is Duchess's house. I think that's her house right there. So it's across the street from her house up the hill. And you're looking for the skeleton here. And there's a toolbox and paintbrush. Uh, but it would actually be here would be the thing. And you can see by the picture that I'm showing you, uh, the plan here glitches halfway through too. It barely sticks out. But uh, yeah, we are not getting lucky at all with the ash heap. All right, now we're onto the uh, Savage Divide and we've got Pleasant Valley Cabins. And so this is the fast travel spot right here. And we're actually going to take that road down there. So try not to fall to your death. And usually you can do this without getting attacked, at least if you if you run it. There are a lot of scorched all over, but we want to stick to the lower road over here. There's the boat. Oh, mole miners are going. We are ignoring the mole miner treasure hunters. And the spot that you want is actually right here. And there are three spawn points. So the first one is right... On this table, usually there'll be some some like a box with screws, you know, a box of screws right here, and the plan would be right here, which would typically be an armor mod, I believe. And then the other spot you want is in this other place, and there's actually two spawns in here. One is right here again next to oh this one springs, but there'd be a plan right here. And then the other spawn would be on this table, so I'm not very lucky at all. Uh, but typically what I find with this location, I either find all three plans or I find none of the plans. So it looks like this time is none of the plans. Okay, the next location is Sunnytop Ski Lanes Base Lodge. So don't get that confused with Sunnytop Ski Lanes. Uh, this place is much smaller and easier. There are still super mutants here, but there's not usually very many. And you want to go up to the second floor is what you want, but there will be super mutants. So you just want to go over the railing here and watch out for there's punji boards. So try not to get uh, get injured there. And there'll usually be a super mutant hound and maybe even a super mutant in here. I'm not sure. But it looks like we're hidden. So we'll back out a little bit. So in the door, and we just want to go right here to the right. And it will actually be on this shelf right here, right? The shelf right below where the candles and the handcuffs are. This shelf right here. Next location you want is the Palace of the Winding Path. And this is the fast travel spot. This is the go in the front gate or whatever you call. But you actually want to run down the hill past this little gate, head towards the bus sliding off, and then we're gonna hang a left right here by the dumpsters. 
And we have a tunnel back here. It sounds like there's a mole miner. And this is a locked door that you need to use the terminal for. And once we open the terminal, we have a corridor. And we are going to head up some stairs. And it's right... Right here is what we're looking for. So we've got this tanker's bench. From the tanker's bench, it's actually going to be on this one. On top of this uh, filing cabinet is where the spawn would be. And it would actually be an armor... An armor piece, as you can see from the picture that's on the screen. Okay, now we are on the Cranberry Bog, and the first stop we have is the NAR Repair Yard. And it's just this building that kind of looks like a miniature uh, airplane hangar, I guess. And it will be right here on this table, right uh, on this corner. Just to the right of the uh, screwdriver and the hammer. This is where the spot would be. Now the other location we want is actually... Now there's the building we just came from. So, the... Uh, the other spot, or the next one, is actually fairly close to here. It's actually those that group of train cars right there. So we'll just go straight ahead. Uh, now, if you haven't done Mayor for a day, this is something you want to be careful for because the Saltrons tend to patrol the perimeter, and uh, they will attack you if they see you. But we're just looking for a ramp and go right inside here. And the spawn would actually be on this crate right here. And in this spot, I've seen armor plans. I've seen, I've actually seen Under Armour plans as well. Like Marine Under Armour, I've seen that a few times. Uh, Marine Tactical Helmet, I've seen. Uh, I've seen lots of different things spawned in this spot. But yeah, armor, armor plans of some sort. But yeah, I'm really glad I got uh, a lot of screenshots of all these things. Otherwise, I'd be showing you a bunch of uh, locations where nothing spawned. But the next spot is the Flooded Train Yard. So from the spawn point, we are just headed to this building right here on the left. Let's go right inside the door here and on the table. It'll be right on this edge right here, right next to the uh, the armor workbench. That would be the spot. As you can see, the last time I was here, it was a Brotherhood of Steel officer uniform. All right, so from the building, there's actually two spots here. So from the building, we want to go straight ahead. Let's see here, straight ahead. Everything's kind of a jumbled mess here. And there are... Um, Snallygasters all over the place. You can fight them. They're a good source of things, but I'm going to try and avoid that. And we are looking for... It's kind of the last car that's... Go it's that one over there. See, I went a little... I went the wrong direction, but it's this car right here, the one that says USA on the side. And we are just going to go right inside, and what we want is this counter right here, and it would be this shelf. And you can see when I was here before, I found a plan for a trapper torso. Okay, so the next spot we want, we are in the mire now. So the first stop will be the K-Max transmission. And we go right in here. Usually there's a couple of ghouls and either a glowing one or a Wendigo. Once you get rid of them, we are looking for this barrel right here that has the lantern on it. And the plan would be right there. You can see I found uh, light robot arms before. And so for the next, uh, there's actually two spawns here. But for the other spawn, you're going to need keys. So there is the, uh, there's the barrel over there, and I'm on top of this little trailer here. And there's some keys right here, broadcast station keys. Now, if you've been here before and picked the keys up, you don't need to pick them up again. And we'll go back out the little uh, broken wall and around the back. And this door can't be picked. It actually takes the key. And just inside the door on this red barrel is another spawn. The next stop is Camp Venture. From the spawn point, you don't want to go straight ahead because there's two spots, right? There's the spot up there. This down here will have ghouls in it. No, this will have... Yeah, this down below will have ghouls. Up top will have scorched. And that is the spot we are going to. There's actually three spawn points here. Just want to go right through the doors. And there will be scorched everywhere. So expect a little bit of fighting, maybe. There's usually one right there. There we go. So anyway, so inside the door, this is the uh, armory right here. So this will be our first stop. And this will be behind a locked gate. It's a level level three locked gate. So you will need some lock pick to get through here. And the spawn is to the left. Yeah, it's to the left of the weapons workbench. It'll be right here in between the, uh, well, what we have here now. We have military grade circuit boards and an oil can. But yeah, it'll be right here on the table. And I believe this is an armor mod, uh, armor mod plan. All right, so once we go out of the armory, the next spot after we shoot the Scorched will be, this is uh, the Command Center, I believe it's what it's called. The command Center Access. Okay, so we are just going to pick this, but you can hack it. I don't think it takes any kind of anything, but it would be right here on the shelf, right in front of this fuel, uh, where the fuel is. The fuel seems to always be there. I mean, it was when I took that picture, but this is another case where it's a uh, mod plan. 
So we leave the command center and we are just going across the way over here. And this is the barracks that we want. This will be the, the third and final spot. But if we go in here and it's just to the left of the refrigerator and it's gonna be, I think it's on the second shelf. Yeah, the picture looks like it's the second shelf, but this is an actual armor piece plan. Uh, you can see that I found heavy robot legs uh, when I was here before. The next stop is the treetops. And from the fast travel spot, you can actually see it right there. You can see the ladders. That is where we're headed. Uh, in this case, it looks like I've got Snallygasters for company, so I'll take care of them first. Once that's done, you just start going up the ladders, and you know you're in the right... I missed the Snallygaster. There was uh, four of them, apparently. I thought there was only three, but there was four. All right. Make sure you make all the enemies are dead. And then you start going up the ladder, and you'll keep going until you see an armor workbench. And it's uh, it's up a little ways. It's It's not right at the bottom. It's up quite a bit. Okay, and there's our armor bench, so it'll be easy to spot because you'll see it as soon as you get upstairs, right? So there's the armor bench, and we're looking for the crate right here. And this will be another case where the uh, plan is probably glitched halfway through. Like, it'll just be sticking out a little bit, like you see in the picture, where I found a light robot torso. Now we are at Harper's Ferry, and this is a spawn point. You can see the big train right there. And you just want to go straight ahead, kind of head for these vines right here. This is the direction you're going. You're actually heading for that wall, the, the hole in the wall over there. And once you get in here, I mean, there's enemies all over the place, but the first stop we want is this display case and it's empty. Wow. So many empty containers. This has been a very unlucky run in terms of finding stuff. But again, I'm on a private server and the spawn rates just are lower because it doesn't reset until people come and go from a cell. So in any event, there is a picture and you can see I found marine legs when I was here before. And there is another spawn point here. So we want to go left and we're going to go outside and around. And usually there's enemies over here. It could be ghouls. It can be scorched, but we don't care. We're hopping up on the car and following this train car uh, up this hill right here. And we are going, there are display cases here. You know, I've heard that other plants can spawn here, but I've never seen anything in these display cases. So I don't know if it's true, if I haven't seen it with my own eyes. And we want to go up this little ramp right here. And if you look to the left, you'll see a bathroom in uh, really poor condition, but that is your cue to drop down. And this display case is another one. I'll show you from the angle where I actually took the picture, where I'm actually facing the bathroom. But you can see I found marine arms when I was here before. And there you have it, a bunch of locations for armor plan spawning. By my count, that is 27 locations with a total of 36 spawn points. So if you're looking for a, a good variety of places, this should do it. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.